guys, Bobby here, and today I'm going to be reacting to the top 20 J-League players in FIFA 17. So today, um, this morning actually, as you may see on the top right, it is 5 a.m. on Sunday. Um, so, you know, I'm still up. Um, so I was looking on the EA website, and I saw this. So, yeah. And I was curious. So I'm going to be reacting to the top 20 J-League players. So let's give it a go. Um... But first of all, I want to say this is a big deal for me because um, I am Japanese and this is a big deal because it is the J-League. It's our our professional, our top flight. So, you know, what made me more stunned to be excited about this, this was added before the Chinese Super League, which is, has a high more quality of players and team. Well, not maybe not teams generally, but just better players. Like I would say like bigger names and that play in China rather than Japan. So that's why I think this is a big deal. And... Even though people are not going to really want to play the J-League or make a J-League team. But this is just for me and some of my friends that want to know about um, J-League players that have um, that want to know a little bit more. Because they, they know I watch it all the time. So uh, I'm going to see um, what the top 20 J-League players are. So let's give it a go. So right off the bat, we got Marquinhos Panar uh, uh, Parana. Um, that he, pl um, if I'm not mistaken, he does play for... Um, uh, he plays for Kofu, Ventofe Kofu. Um, um, he's wow. He's he's definitely up there in age. And as you may see, he's born in 1977. Um, but overall, three star skill, most three star weak foot. Um, for his age, obviously not gonna be that fast. But overall, solid defending stat. Wish he was a little bit more physical, but you can't ask for that much for a guy that's five eight, a guy that I'm um, three and a half inches taller than he is. But overall, decent passing, I would say, but nothing really else to it. Okay, here we go. Now, here's the card I am looking forward to. A, a Japanese legend, Shinsuke Nakamura. Um, obviously, 30 years old. I can understand not to have that much pace, as you may see. Playing for Yokohama, F. Marinos. With decent shooting, 79 passing, which is high. In, I would think that's high in the J-League. 73 dribbling, which I was a little higher. D uh, obviously, not the best physical. But 3-star skill with 3-star weak foot. Um, overall, this is going to be a fun card for me to use. I'm really looking forward to this shot uh, for this card and him playing as a player and himself an ultimate team. But oh my gosh, I I I just don't, um he's in the he's number nine in the top free kicks top top five yeah top nine free kick takers in the game. So I'm excited for that, and hopefully he's in the top ten maybe in long shots because we can think about that goal he did against the Ra Rangers when he was playing for Celtic when he was an absolute god. But overall, nothing much. Really excited for that. Oh, we got another Japanese legend, Yasuhito Endo. Um, same with 36 pace. I saw this earlier. But I was looking at his Pez stats. Um, on PezMaster.com for this year's game, he's so in this year he has 70 like like pace pretty much on the Pez, right? I know Pez and FIFA have different calculations how they calculate pace, but 70 36. There's a big. There's a slightly big of a gap there. I would maybe say he has more around 45, 50 pace, maybe. I'm not going to complain about that. It's not it's slow anyway, so I just, I just don't understand why maybe they're so slow. But overall, it's, um, 70 passing, high, got to be one of the higher ones in the J-League. Okay shooting, okay dribbling, defending, and physical for us, uh, for a cam, actually. And up to, for me, plus, I do put him at CDM uh, because that's what he played for the national team. Um, so overall, good card overall. Uh, so we got the overpowered goalie that I think in the J-League, uh, Masasaki Higasuguchi. Um, overall, I was watching a guy f on YouTube named uh, from Masakari, and he came pretty close to this. Um, so um, give a shout out to him. Go watch his video if you want. Um, but overall, he did come pretty close to this rating. So give out full props, and uh, and he was pretty close. So overall, this will be a go-to goalie in the J-League, hands down. Um uh, but overall, maybe Kim Sung Jae. Oh, he's on right. He's the next player anyway. But um, so I'm gonna talk about him now. So here we go for the top goalie for Visto Kobe. Um, Kim Sung Jae. He's um he has he's six foot two, and he's acrobatic. With those, but those stats actually look pretty good. Um, so this will be a, a good card, I would say, if you're trying to make a J League team. Um, but overall, um, for Visto Kobe, um. They are definitely in the top 10, or I believe top 5, in um, least goals conceded. So obviously he's doing a good job um, in, his, uh, in the J-League, so uh, that's a good stat to point out.
Oh, Mostafa El Kaber, uh, for um, Saigon um, Tulsu. This guy, oh, he only has four star skills. Darn it. This guy is like really fun to watch in the J League. Um, from Morocco. Um, this guy is super fun to watch. Uh, he pulls. He's like um, how can I say it? He's like Steph Curry, you know. I mean, he pulls off like these uh, cool moves every other game or every game. That's fun to watch. So overall, decent card. Obviously, not the best stats, but um, I don't care. Um, he's really fun to watch. So I'm looking forward to him using him in the game. Um, up and down is uh, Takeshi Aoki, also from Saigon, um, Tosu. Um. Nothing really much about this guy. Um, decent, actually decent physical and decent defending for a non-rare silver. I'm um, not the best drilling, not best passing, but for six foot, that's pretty good. Um, for the J League, um, so nothing much to it. <sighs> for the people that know me, you know what I'm thinking right now. Yeah, this is one of my least favorite players in all the J League. Um, Yoshito Kubo. Uh, damn, he only has 43 pace. He's not that slow. Wow. I don't care. I really don't care. Um, overall, to me, um, I just don't care. Uh, but overall, decent shooting, 75 shooting, uh, 74 dribbling, pretty good, average. Um, 4 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves, decent card. Overall, good addition to the game. Um, also a good addition for, if I'm, for me, I make Japanese teams all the time, like ultimate teams, so decent sub, um, I would be using. Oh, Masato Morishige from my uh, FC Tokyo, six foot, uh, three star, weak foot, two star skill moves, uh, not bad. Um, below average pace, mm, okay passing and okay dribbling for the J League. Um, probably the main stats that will really stand out is, um, um, is defending and physical, are, I would say if you're like we're between the 70 like mid 70s to and above or it's more like okay like you're like good for that league I would say but overall he is definitely one of the top center backs in the J League so he was in the J League top 11 I believe last season um for me for FC Tokyo fans um yeah it's kind of hard to watch because we just just um never pulled out you know uh, because we're trash. Uh, Shinzo Kuroki. Um, don't really know much about this guy, um, to be honest. But to look at his card, though, um, 3 star skill moves, 66 pace, not bad. 75 shooting, that's pretty good. 74 dribbling, it's not bad. Um, overall, nothing really much special. Patrick, yeah, I don't care. Uh, Tsukasa uh, Shiotani. Um, plays for San Francisco Hiroshima. Being six foot, um, this will probably be another go-to center back for the game. Um, decent pace, uh, decent defending and physical as well. Um, so nothing really much to that. Um, cool to see him in the game. Oh, we got the other Nakamura, Kengo, uh, for Kawasaki from Tai. Once again, thirty-seven pace, slow as fuck. Um, not decent shooting, decent passing. Um, Seventy-four dribbling, not bad. This will probably be a go-to CM or cam if you want to make us. Well, to me, probably not putting that cam, but decent sentiment due to that passing and decent dribbling. But to be honest, 54 physical physicals can get pushed off the ball with only two-star skill moves. It's not going to really help a lot as well. So, next player. Oh, we got Junior Tanaka. I believe he's on loan from uh, Sporting. Back to um, uh, Kashiwa Reisol. Um, to me, he's a decent player. Um, back in FIFA 15 and six, oh, back in FIFA 15, um, he was a, a absolute god for me. Um, he scored over 100 goals that year for me on Ultimate Team. Overall, his pay, his stats do look pretty much the same. Um, what I remember, um, same pretty much thing. So I expect maybe to be the same or slightly less what I got um, back in FIFA 15. But overall, this will be a fun card for me to use. Hey, yes, so we got Muraki. Um, ooh, 89 pace, nice. FC Tokyo, decent, decent dribbling. I'm not the greatest shooter in the world. Just he's just a pace guy, decent dribbling. Um, um, overall okay physical. Well, for f being five eight, can't ask for much. Four star skill moves, four star weak foot. This will be another good card to use as your striker position. Him and Adam Milson. Oh my God, 90 pace and 89 pace. I believe Adam Milson. Uh, this will be an absolute striker 
domination force for the J League. So we'll see who the next player is. Okay, so we got the the J League cover star in Japan for FIFA 17 is uh, Tomake Makino. Um, he was in FIFA Ultimate Team before I believe FIFA 10 or FIFA 12 or whatever those ones were. Um, at right back for FC Cologne in the Bundesliga. Overall, looking at his card, um, he was 68 or 69 rated, uh, but now he's 74 rated, which is pretty good. Um, pretty much the same stats are just basically the same or slightly upgraded, so nothing much about that card. Even though he does play for uh, FC Tokyo's rival team, but I do like this guy. He's an absolute good person and actually a good player for his on his team and actually he's got countless uh team of the like pretty much you know team of the uh I would say team of the season award for the J League or team of the year pretty much um in the J League so he's overall well respected player so you know not that much. A Adam Wilson uh he's like the uh, bombing of the J League uh as you may see ninety pace. Um to me in the demo that seventy nine dribbling does not feel like seventy nine dribbling. Even though that demo may have different stats but I do remember he did have somewhere in between the mid seventies and the high seventies in dribbling, but to me, um, that did not feel like that. So this will be another go to J League um, striker as well. Looking forward to him, and I'll be and I do score with him a lot in the demo on um on world class and legendary. So to me, it's proven that he can I can play you know using him. So play does play for Gamble Osaka, so it'd be quite cool to use him in a well as well. Um, so let's we'll see the next player. Uh, Toshihiro Aoyama. Um, don't really know for, about him that much. Even though he's a gold player, I didn't think of that. Wow. Um, with those stats, I don't believe that's a gold player. Oh, he does have decent physical for five. Wow, for he's five nine. He has seventy six physical. Okay. Uh, I'm just done. Oh, we got a Greek. Avram uh, Papadopoulos. I don't really know about him. And. And uh, I, uh, uh, I should have bought that, thought about that. Peter Otaka from San Francisco, Hiroshima, um, tearing up the J League right now. Uh, I think he's still the top um, goal scorer, um, but decent pace, uh, decent dribbling, decent shooting, and really good physical. Um, three star skill, most three star weak foot. Um, probably a cheap card um, if you want to get chemistry with like a Nigerian player. Obviously, it's gonna be very difficult because Nigeria is not really a go to nation in FIFA. But overall, if you have this card, he will probably sell for pretty cheap and be, just be easy coins. So, overall, those have been my um, reaction to the J League players. Um, so I've been really excited for this game. Um, in about eight days, countdown is on. So I'm just oh, times can go by any faster. Come on. But until then, um, this has been Bobby. Thank you guys for watching and peace.